Coming up, stigma free service, a new business supporting mental health. Sky High, a former refugee with lofty ambitions. And Fine Fair, a business based around tradition. People say, oh, thank you for providing such a good product to us. Making miso paste is a fine art that takes time and patience, as an enterprising Japanese migrant well knows. Thanks to an innovative mentoring program backed by the Victorian government, Yoko Nakazawa was able to translate her miso-making skill into a small business. Sarah Dowling reports. When Yoko Nakazawa began a blog for her home-cooked recipes, she had no idea her passion for traditional Japanese food would trigger a thriving business. I didn't expect anybody to look at, <laughs> to start with, and then I just started as my record. Like, I made this miso this year. After it steamed, I put it into a bowl to cool it down. She now sells her homemade miso paste at markets around Melbourne. Its unique flavours are based on a century-old family recipe. I found it to cool it down. It's part of our family tradition. Once that year we make miso together, so we have one day in winter, all the family gathers and then we make miso. I use um, traditional technique, traditional Japanese technique, which a lot of big miso company doesn't use anymore. So after three days, this is defermented rice called rice koji. When I came to Australia, I felt like I was in the dirt. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move, I couldn't see. Even the quite common greeting words, like, what are you up to? I really didn't know how to answer. Like, I never learned that sentences in my textbook. Next step is mashing soybean. Take some from the pot. Yuko's miso-making journey began after she arrived in 2012. Once it's mixed, I make a bowl like this. Despite the cultural barriers, Yoko's Japanese heritage eventually helped her on. connect with the local community. And then we just have to wait. I posted on my Facebook page and then people find it out. Oh, do you make miso? Can you make it for me? Can you sell it to me? As demand for her product increased, Yoko needed to develop a strategy. Small Business Victoria was able to help through a program run with the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence. I recommend this program. The program itself is a 15-week small business course and through that um, we, we co-facilitate the program with Small Business Victoria to develop um, workshops that are tailored for people from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. So we worked with Yoko to look at her product, look at pricing, look at all the areas of market research. When we start the course, we, you know, introduce ourselves and then several people start crying and then, oh, I know the feeling, that sort of, you know, so I made good friends from the class. And then this business made me so much confident, so that was a really good outcome. Yoko's business has taken off, in line with rising demand for Japanese food and products. Sometimes I sold out miso at the market. People say, oh, thank you for provi providing such a good product to us. The business is still young, but it's growing. Yoko sells up to 100 jars of miso paste each month and has recently expanded into Japanese cooking classes. The other day, the little girl came to workshop and then she just licked all of the tasting miso and then, can I have some more? Yoko now focuses on the business full time and hopes soon to turn a profit. It's not 
clear, sunny condition yet. I still have a lot of um, difficulty with understanding English or reading is terrible, but still I can see more, I can move and then I can breathe and then, you know, it's really good.